Welcome, welcome, welcome. The mic was muted. Let's get some messages going. <laughs> All right, let's go. Two minutes left, two minutes left. My cord is tangled and I don't like tangled cords. That's one of my OCD things, so I'm sorry. If you hear some static, Dave, how are you doing? Uh, it's going good. Just finished having dinner, trying to get this race in, trying to keep everybody happy. It was a very busy day. We came back to from Casino Rama, and we saw Ludacris last night. So that was pretty pretty exciting. How are you, Dave? <laughs> One minute one minute till the first race looks like we're gonna have a lot of uh races on top of each other but we have a free weekly premiere class three sprinter oh dave that's good to hear uh hopefully you have some horses qualified i'm guessing show last night was Ludacris singing happy birthday and it's quite funny because that's the only video I got from all the hits that we know oh so we're starting it off at the Z token hopefully someone can win some tokens tonight I'm not doing so well in sit and go all right here we go I believe we have quite the blood in this race and it excels at 1200. Yep, quite the blood. Oh, well, congratulations, Dave, on your uh, maiden voyage this week. I got one, and that's going to qualify. It's a class three. Uh,. Average week, uh, what does that mean? A couple horses. <laughs> I love qualifying for freeze, free races. It makes your strategy work so well. So we got about 500 meters left. We have quite the blood uh, sitting in podium. The manners, burnt ETH, Raon, all in one, two, three. Quite the blood is losing speed. It doesn't look like it's going to be qualifying. So let's go, manners. Three hundred meters. Quite the blood is trying to put up a fight. Two hundred meters. Manners is holding it. Quite the Blood is creeping its way up to fifth place, fourth place. Let's go, Quite the Blood. Let's get to the top three. Top three. There we go, Quite the Blood. Sitting at three. Chasing off to that second place with about a few hundred meters left. Quite the Blood hits second place. So we dropped all the way down from ninth. And then we reached second. Look at that photo finish. Beautiful. Quite the blood takes it with a few thousandths of a second. One, one thousandths of a second. 
Very good. Good job, Manners. We'll be seeing you later. Quite the blood. Okay. We have a live race. Cupid's panties. That should be another 1,200. So we have one horse going to the quarterfinals in its preferred distance. And we are looking for Cupid's panties. There we go, sitting in the pack. And then we'll zoom in. Spoils or nothing, sitting in first. Cupid's panties is in the top six. 500 meters to go. Surprisingly, my green can doesn't go in green screen. We have Cupid Panties that just broke away and now sitting in first with 400 meters left. Let's see if we can hold this. Cupid Panties sitting in first, followed by Spills or Nothing, and Mama Girl. Wow, let's go, let's go, let's go. 200 meters, 150 meters left. Push, 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 push. Don't let anybody catch up. This is not your preferred distance, but it's its secondary distance, and we are loving it. Let's go, Cupid Panties. Let's go. Let's go. That last race was uh, quite something else, wasn't it? Being one one thousandth of a second difference between second and third. Sunnyvale Kid, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. How's your night? Meet me in chat. Cupid Panties came first? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Next race will be Yikes in a Class 2 Sprinter. Sunnyvale's, it's great. Great to have you here. Hopefully you had a wonderful weekend. How are you doing tonight? Do you have any horses qualified? If so, where? So, I'm working day shift and these streams, well, I'd love to hit the finals, but I'm gonna try to stay here as long as much as possible with you tonight. Uh, I just wanna go to the finals and make the stream worth it, so. We're going to be here for a while, hopefully two hours, and we're going to have a great time. Inbound. Buddy's awesome. Yikes. With the Z skin. Sky High Cross. Truth About Ruth. Fire Z Missile. Plotten moves. Winter quarters. Oh, Sunny, sorry that you didn't qualify. Um, what kind of? How many times are you playing a week, or how many times are you racing per day per horse? Try moving it up to at least two days or two races a day per horse that qualify that are worth your time and then go from there. I want Yikes. Yikes sitting in 12th place. All right, 1200, it's class two, let's go. Yeah, Sonny, try that out, man. Two races per day per horse. You need at least 10 races, right? And you got seven days. Math adds up. Just don't get locked in. We have Final Space, Lex Steel, and Plot and Moves in the top three. But everybody seems to be nice and tight in their pack. Hopefully, you get to that 1,000 meter distance and we'll break away from the pack. Seven hundred meters left. Six hundred meters left. Everybody seems to be still within the pack, so we're gonna have a very late breakaway. We have Yikes in the top six now. Oh, 
Plot and Moose broke away. Immortal Pip is in second, and The Truth About Ruth is in third, with Yikes creeping up in the top six spot with about 300 meters left. So this is gonna be a very close race for Yikes to hold that position, but also try to get podium because Yikes loves that positioning. 200 meters left. All right, let's go Yikes. Get to at least fourth spot. 50 meters left. It's gonna be very close for that sixth spot. We might now get Yikes going through. Yikes, fourth spot. We're going to the quarter or semifinals with Yikes. <sighs> that was close. Congratulations to the top six horses and to the winner, Final Space. Very good TV show. Check it out. We're going to move on to the next race. If I don't have a race coming up, then I would like to qualify. So here we go. Here's uh, Let's check out some stats from some earlier races. We have a minute left so quite the blood will be going to the quarter sorry the semi-finals the top six and through second fragrance two we did not watch that race i apologize that was overlapping with us sitting in first its mom is a 1200 uh meter horse but fragrance likes the 1400 but we took it here with no flames sunny veils thank you thank you and I believe we just watched this race. Cupid Panties. So that will be advancing. So far so good. Yikes. Also advancing. So the first four races that we saw. We have some advancements. As you can see these horses are in their preferred distance. Unlike last week. They were all over the place winning and losing. Because it wasn't their preferred distance. So why so blue? Another 1200 meter specialist in class 5 get that race going chat quiet tonight how's it going underwater everyone's favorite favorite track meters sprinter we're going to Hong Kong my strategy for maiden watch who your competition is pay attention to the other horses that are going in the race check out their records check out their parents take it nice and slow because you want to be in that top 12. What I learned from a C1 um, Maidens is be in the top 12. And you can't just race that fast. You got to race in your distance that your horse prefers. And if it's two or three or just one rate, prefer race distance, then you have to uh, pay attention to all that data. And also pay attention, to, like I said, to the people you're racing because sometimes later in the week those horses just come in out of nowhere and try to take your your rein and you as a stable owner have to manage your races properly we have 600 meters left why so blue sitting in seventh with heaps good go gentle and nasty juice in the top three 500 meters left why so blues facing the tough competition Sunny Vales, yes, it's nice and cool weather up here in Canada, so I feel you on that. Why so blues down to 11th with 300 meters left in the race? Nasty juice and go gentle. Top two, why so blues sitting last 200 meters? I don't think it's gonna catch up to the uh, at least six spot. It would be a dream. 150 meters left. 100 meters left. Why so blue is making that push for the sixth spot? 50, 40, 20. Did we get it? Oh, we got 11. That's not going anywhere. That's C5 for you. That at least 
my horse. Not impressive. But we get to watch next race. That horse is not advancing. Sprinter's 11. Hopefully we can catch this. Oh yes, breeding right now, or even just getting the gas over. It's going to be very hard. So if you spent the last two years accumulating horses at ETH, congratulations. But this week, even just trying to acquire a horse with or without Haku, it's going to be crazy. Simony Cricket, class four. Sorry, I'm trying to chase my horse. Uh, just tried some old blue horses at 15, minus 15 race would rather be, you know. Dave, let me know if you have any luck breeding those uh, older horses, but under 15 races. So if you have a horse that's over older than one month, then you can breed it. So check that out. Simony Cricket was featured last week in a thousand meter race, but it did not do good because it wasn't its preferred distance. Uh, Simony Cricket loves a 12, but uh, according to Z Sim, like sitting in that between a thousand and 1200, so that's where we're at. Um, my strategy for anybody who's watching right now is to dollar cost average your ETH or win in this game and find a way to make money in this game and convert it into ETH because it's going to be wild. 100 meters left, Simony Cricket, it looks like it's going to be losing its lead. He's now sitting in second, third, we just need to get in the top six, so don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Simony Cricket is in sixth. Jeez. Oh, Dave, congratulations. And Sport Called Soccer for winning won in this race and Dave winning last week C5 I'm sure it was hard but you did it got all that experience I hope so another horse advances 7 minutes to the next race let's refresh this page let me get some horses Races today. Oh, look at that. We have a mid runner going on right now. Sweet, we're gonna have an action packed races today. So many qualifications. Dave, don't talk to me about glue stables. Those are my early mistakes in this game. Oh boy. If I would like to go back in time and fix those mistakes. Alright, if this doesn't load, refresh. Hopefully the race is not over. Yeah, the race is over, that's why it's not loading. Sunrise Journey did not. advance and I believe that's in my jockey so congratulations to my jockey getting a horse uh, qualified in C1 so um, let's try this out I'm gonna go in chat right now and type in a command and hopefully you guys can follow me in my discord Today, Crime Spree, class four, 1800 meters. Oh, this Crime Spree won its 1800 meters a couple weeks ago, but uh, 
Let's see if they can defend their title at their class. And Dave, thank you for coming in on the Discord. We have Coda, Sex Fury, and Salt Bay. One, two, three with Crime Spree trying to hit that sixth spot. Facing a lot of resistance with 900 meters left. Oh, somebody just joined the Discord. Thank you very much. Sunnyvale Kid, thank you. Okay. Crime Spree in 7th, in 6th. Sykes Fury in 1st. Crime Spree pushing hard with 600 meters left in the 4th position. We have Sex Fury, Coda, and White on White in the podium with Crime Spree in fourth with 400 meters left in the race. How's the music? How's the volume on the microphone? Everybody having a good night with these races? Let me know in chat. Thumbs up. Crime Spree sitting in 6th, hopefully not falling too far behind with a less than 100 meters left. Crime Spree is in 7th right now and it doesn't look like it's going good. Crime Spree finished 8th, so that's not good for us at all. And it will not be holding its title. Let's go to a class 6 mid runner, Cacao Berry. This one, she likes to flame a lot. She also likes to disappoint. Thank you, Dave. So we might not get through all the races today because they're gonna be sitting on top of each other, but hopefully we can get through all the rounds tonight. Thank you, Sunnyvale. And if you're just lurking, just watching, don't want to participate, that's fine. It's all good. Thank you for the follow, Omni Dave. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cacao Berry, my first black horse. Alright, it's going to be a nice long one, so chat. How are you making out tonight? Any horses qualifying for the next round semifinals? Nice color on what? Black? Yeah. I should put a skin on it. Roll eyes. Maybe I'll put a birthday skin on it. Okay, we got Cacao Berry at second. Grandeur 268 at first. War Factory in third. In a fight for the top six. We have 1100 meters left. Alright Sunny, the thing with skins, you need to leave the skin on and then just keep on racing till you win. That's that's the thing with skins. Dave just won the class two maiden mid SF against two Arb horses and Great Tempest. <sighs> wow. Nice breed. Good job on you. It's a great reflection and hopefully you can go get that finals because I don't even know where my horses are. I have a horse in C3 Maiden but 
I don't know if we'll see it tonight. Maybe there's so many races. Right now I'm just looking over the races that we have. And I don't even see my maiden. They're all the free weekly premieres. We got Cacao Berry with 200 meters left, sitting in first with War Factory and Herd Share in the top three. Dave, go get that top two. Go get that money. Get that bag. Cacao Berry holding that first. Oh, almost a photo finish with War Factory. Nope. Cacao Berry holds the first. Who kept it? Crept in. Try to take first. Seaplane, War Factory, taking second and third. That was a very close one. Cacao Berry, Class 6, going on to the semifinals. Got some XP. So that's going to max out at 100. Let's refresh the page. So I'm thinking about renewing my subscription to an AI tool that produces music. And we're gonna to try to make some playlists. And then try to get a monthly, monthly mix of different genres that I like. So it could be hip hop, it could be dance, it could be rock but it's all going to be mixed by AI, produced by AI, and have my ear to it. So hopefully you're enjoying this mix, because that's just a trial. So my dad just came back from Portugal, I had to deal with some family stuff, uh, but he's doing okay, everybody's okay. starting uh yeah those arb horses are bred very well and they love to keep their horses that are like 100 speed if you ever go through their stable like i have a lot of downtime at work and i'll literally grab their well i used to on haku rest in peace but i used to go on their website and find horses that had like 100 speed and then be like hey can i breed with this horse can i breed with that horse and pay the fees but we'll see how that works out in the next couple weeks because well well 12k yo what's up thank you for the follow thank you for tuning in welcome to the stream you got a few horses going to the next round but uh thank you for tuning in this class three mid runner uh race right now we have genres of humanity flamed so that's a good sign hopefully you don't flame 12th again because nobody likes to do that but well how was your day how's your week did you have any horses that qualified it whale 12k was 12k whale taken and that's why you have to go with that i'm just messing with you no hard feelings. Thirteen hundred meters left. We have South Side. Argues of Dunlin. They're all fighting for that top spot. Genres of humanity in fourth. Wow, forty horses. True champion. 
40 horses that qualified in free, free and paid graces. That's time management for you. That's a system. Congratulations. Might have to pick your brain later. Okay, 12k is a part of your group. No worries. Genres of Humanity has dropped to 9th, 8th, with 900 meters left. Southside, Magic Woman, and Arger of Dunlin in the top 3. The grind is good, but I use a mouse, and honestly, that's all you hear. It's click, 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 click. You gotta put headphones on and block out the clicking. Chat, I also like to appreciate all of you respecting each other's space. I'm not going crazy, but uh, we all gotta learn from each other, right? So, it starts off with respect. All right, this horse is not doing well for me. Genres of Humanity, class three. It's one of my better class three mid runners out there, but uh, when you're facing the best, you're facing the best. 300 meters left in the race. Whale, what are you listening to on Spotify? What's your go-to artist? Genres of Humanity sitting in 10th. Will we get top six? qualify with 100 meters left we'll only find out very very soon genres in fourth genres holding fourth with 20 meters left third holding third we got podium my ladies and gentlemen second place mac miller and a fellow called prof nice 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 choices of music I'm slowly getting back into hip hop. I like to keep my tastes all over the place. Congratulations to Dunlin in first place. I think we got two minutes to the next race, but let me refresh, see if we have something. <sighs> Thank you, everybody. We got second place in one of the harder races out there. All right, we got two minutes to the next race. You know what time it is. It's chat time. Let's chat together. I'm going to watch on my second monitor. We got two minutes left to the next race, but it's just us chat. We don't have to worry about races for a while. Two minutes left. In the... So where I'm from, I'm from Canada. And if you know about Canadians who hate Toronto, Toronto is the center of the universe in Canada. And that's where I'm from, so love or hate it, I'm from Toronto. But their hockey teams suck. Any team in Toronto that sells out stadiums that hasn't gone to the playoffs and won a championship in the last 50 years suck. Yeah, that's throwing shade at the... Uh... It's because of the cold winters, it makes us nicer people. So when we see people, we just want to warm up to them. Well, because we want that warmth and we want to be nice. It's like, hey, can I have a hug? I'm cold. Alright, here we go. Next race starting soon. We are doing class 3, 1800 meters. Oh, I got another one that qualified. Melbourne, Australia, I feel that. Okay, so you're going into summer now and I'm going into winter. What's the hottest that it gets in Celsius? Because I'm sure you get into the 40s, no problem. And for you Americans, that's like 110 plus. Yeah, see in southern Ontario, we get up to 40 days. And I work in a factory, and those days are rough. Oh my god, 19 and raining, that is horrible.
it froze sorry chat I thought this race started. Or did it just go silly on us? Oh, morale. Morale is a 2,000 meter horse, but I'm very worried how it'll do in 1,800 meters. Yeah, I don't even know what my weather's gonna be like tomorrow. All I know is that I have to wake up early, so. Waking up early, setting the alarms, and we'll get back to the race. And thank god I did not get called in early, because this stream wouldn't have happened if I got called in early. So here goes Morel in the top six. Not anymore. Magnetic Levitation, Story of Japan, and Control C. All fighting for the top three spots. Well, I know how you feel. If you ever look up Calgary, Alberta, or Edmonton, Alberta, or Alberta in general, they go through all of the seasons in one day. It's called the Chinook Winds. There's your uh, history lesson about Canada today. Chinook Winds. And if you're Australian, you feel the pain of wearing shorts and a winter jacket in one day. Because that's what we do here. Oh, you're welcome. We'll keep the Canadian history light because let's just say the monarchy was not favorable to them once we settled over to this continent. There you go, whale. Shorts and a winter jacket and maybe a baseball cap. Yes, Calgary is very nice. Once you land in the airport and you look west, you can see the mountain range the Canadian Rockies and if you drive 90 minutes west then you can enter the Rockies with the beautiful sceneries of like thousand meter plus mountains with snow caps and green tops it's beautiful Walla is sitting in sorry Morel sitting in fourth uh, I believe Bryce is from Canada but he was originally from Alberta until he moved so if you ever met Bryce shout out to Bryce Morel in third, 100 meters left, push, 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 I know you can do it, push hard, push hard, push, 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 Morel came in, third, we'll take that, another advancement, this new strategy is starting to pay off, strange symphonies, I am drunk, and Morel taking podium, There we go, we got some XP. Chocolate Princess, ladies and gentlemen. If you've been on this stream before, you know about Chocolate Princess. I'd love to get over to Canada and do some climbing. Yeah, come over to the Canadian Rockies. Uh, I know a lot of Aussies like to go to Whistler and British Columbia, and, which is a province and just spend your winters here snowboarding so this is a class one 2400 meters this is not chocolate princess's preferred distance so it'll be shocking to see how they yeah come over to british columbia 100 meters left in this race chocolate princess is in ninth and Oh my goodness, this is probably the first time on stream, or since I acquired the horse, that Chocolate Princess is not going. I told you, 2400 meters is too fast for this horse. It's either 22 or 26. Those 200 meters makes a difference for Chocolate Princess, so that horse won't be going through, but Merlin will. The Enchanter, Light Speculation, and Magnum Force taking podium. 
Sorry, Chocolate Princess. I got excited for you for nothing. Scrap of a lifetime. Another horse ran by my jockey, but it's going through to the quarterfinals. Advance is, variance is the best, just one and 1800 meter qualifier weighs with 2.2 seconds. Up next, 12th by 4th seconds. <coughs> 12th place, eh? Hopefully you didn't uh, flame on that 12th. Scrap of a lifetime, class one. And have a nice long race. Var gang, hashtag four gang. Yes, sir. <sighs> is that is that the game that we play with the variants? It could go anywhere. Well, how does uh, 40 horses qualifying look like? How many horses are you racing in a week? Like how many are in your stable? That's all I want to know. Then we can gauge of how many times you play a day. Sonny wants to know. We all want to know. How does OGs do it? Scrap of a lifetime. Holding it, holding it down with 1500 meters. In the top six. Shout out to my jockey, Rod, from the Philippines. Hopefully you're here with us. If not, shout out to you for getting this horse in the quarterfinals. And so far, it seems like it's performing well. Two, ooh, sorry, 1,200 meters left. So there you go. Sunny plays every day, but got to get their game up. Try uh, some of the simulating uh, tools that are out there. You'll definitely get your game up. I use ZSim. ZSim helps me select what horses to put in the race. And there's no bots being used. So you're not going to get flagged on your account. Um, but it does help you increase your win percentage. Scrap of Lifetime is in the bottom half. Not looking good with 700 meters left. We have 5th Moon, Scenic Regret, and D5 Bertha in the podium. Class 1 ain't no joke. We've got killers. Sorry. That pop got to me. C1's fun because... Uh, if you can at least get a horse in C1 or own at least three C1 horses in each funnel, understand the DNA of a horse, what makes a good horse, and just try to be a better stable owner. And when this game does expand, people will buy from your stable. Scrap of lifetime, 100 meters left, sitting at 11th. I would have been happy with a 12th flame, to be honest with you. Wow. Scrap of a lifetime had no chance, but congratulations to the top six horses going to the next round. Chat, hopefully you're in class one and in this race. Young Divinity, Fifth Moon, and Shadow Chin taking podium.
All right, Sonny, get those, uh, get the variants up on those horses if you ever try to breed them. Okay, I'm gonna refresh the page, see who's live, who's not. See, I didn't want to send you to the wrong horse. Sizzle King. Oh, we are going class three. Sizzle King loves 2400 meters. It lives for 2400 meters. Will it flame and come in 12? Yes, yes it will. Look at that, flame in 12. Called it. 1600 meters left on a 2400 meter race. Ah. Sizzle King, you don't disappoint. We have Riz McGuire, Point Blank LLC. I think we remember Point Blank from last week. Oh, there's going to be some horses. Yeah, Dave, what's up? Let's go sizzle. Um, either look at the breeding tools out there on the market, Sunny. Get familiar with one of them and just try to breed better because we're all playing against the best, right? And it's literally going to be fractions of a second to win. Sizzle King still in 12th and flaming. 900 meters left in the race. We have Horse Painted, or Painter, sorry. Horse Painter in first. Point Blank in second. Sizzle King found some fire sitting in the top six. Sizzle King in fifth. 600 meters left hello mango welcome 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 mango thank you for tuning in no you're not late it's all good we're still in the quarterfinals some of my horses uh, qualified for the semis but uh, we're still going through the quarters because my strategy changed and it worked out to get most of the stable in for that xp sizzle king in six with 250 meters left. Sizzle King dropped down to 7th, trying to make a final push with 100 meters left. Not looking good right now, sitting in 8th. How's Painter, New Like, and Ankle Monitor in the podium with Sizzle King sitting in 9th. Sizzle King failed us again another week. All right, I'm not going to hype up my horses anymore. I'm going to degrade them. Watch the replay, House Painter, New Lake, and Ankle Monitor taking podium. Stable stream, rule number one. Don't hype up your horse. Ninth in flames. She-Hulk. Ankle monitor. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you a quick story about an ankle monitor story. So, back in like 2012, I went to a Halloween party. And brought all the friends that I had at the time. We went to a local bar. One of them found... Oh my gosh, She-Hulk is not advancing. That's unfortunate. Congratulations to the top six. Um, but eventually he married this girl. Uh, but we found a girl dressed up as Lindsay Lohan. And she's wearing the ankle monitor. And it was just hilarious. Orange jumpsuit, Lindsay Lohan in the roughest part of her life. But it was a funny costume to see. Congratulations to Midnight Greatness. Sounds like some good blood. Class 2, 2400 meters. So, class 2 is no joke. <clears throat> Over a Festa page. 
because now we're getting to the marathoners and we want to I did not see my maiden. That's very uh, frustrating. Sorry, chat. I thought we would get to see my maiden today, but uh, I don't think it qualified. I mean, it qualified for first, but it didn't advance to the next rounds. Glorious Hawk. Let's get this full race going. 2400 meters, class 5. Death Variance. Oh my gosh, Death Variance just made it. So I acquired this horse for my uh, breeding stable. And she always was popping up in my Z sim. So I finally was like, you know what? Let's throw her in the racing stable. See how she does. And for a late entry into this week, qualified top six right now it has decent variants so we're gonna get to flame 12th place but it seems like zone defiance is doing that for me hopefully i'll take the rain sitting in fourth mango what does organizing horses mean on your level of gameplay Uh oh, what's the rumor? Can we get some streaming secrets for chat only? We'll only read it in chat. I'm not going to announce it. So if you want to hear the rumor, chat only. Death variance in eighth. We got Freak Chance, David Friedman, and Simla. Oh, crappy Pacers is organizing. Yeah, get heroin here. Spilling the beans, oh my goodness. What is going on in Zed right now? For people to be managing their stables. Is it sales? Is it the marketplace? Alpha? I'm not part of Alpha. Actually, I was a tournament organizer for Pokemon Go tournaments and our our channel was called alpha so yeah we have freak chance buys in a thumb and crazy frost in the podium with death variants climbing up slowly with 800 meters left. I'd like to say thank you for everybody tuning in this Sunday night, watching the free weekly premiere with us. Thank you for chat, for being interactive this week. Much appreciated. And for the lurkers, you're always welcome here. Enjoy the races. Death Variance is holding the bottom half. Let's see what we do with 300 meters left in this race. Looks like there's a lot of variance and stability going on right now. Hundred meters left. Looks like Death Variance is holding that bottom half. And Zone Defiance is holding that true 12th flame. So Death Defiance does not advance, so my Marathoners are not doing well with advancing. Looks like it's going to be a Sprinter stream, chat. It's a nice code for Cheer Up, Fred. Byzantium Twin and Fred Friedman, David Friedman. At least one of the Flaming Horses got to win. Another 
the marathon race. No, oh, that race is done. Crusade Trust did not win. And it's not advancing, sitting in 7th. Got some XP though, so I'll take that. Sorry we didn't get to watch that one, but that's what's happening. Alright, let's start the semi-finals. Let's look for any hope of... There's no hope for that maiden. Fragrance 2, we have sprinters. Well, if we can get them here and spill the beans, that's cool. If not, and hold that information, that's all cool too. But we like beans. And we like winning races, so spill the beans. Because I'm going to bring the winning races. Uh, well, sorry, that's unfortunate. So sad, my 2200 paid runners hit 12 and under 250 and under 500. Yikes. That's not a good feeling to have. I don't know how you guys do it with all that anxiety and going into paid races. I don't think I could handle it. So do you play for... Do you play to grind and play to qualify with the preferred distance? Because I feel like my gameplay would be less stressful if I was just trying to qualify for... Um, three funnels. Okay, so grind it out with all of it. Gotcha. That's what I do. I grind for the craft XP and then sell that off and then just try to get in on this economy. Because paid races is obviously not in my reach right now. Oh, yeah, take a break with anything stressful in your life, but don't forget. Oh, look, I'm in 12th place with flames. Okay, Fragrance is not going through, but Taco Sunday looks like we won that race. So right now we don't have anything going into final sprinters. Sunday Taco in the top sixth going to the finals. Quite the blood and Cupid panties did this since class three, that's not good. So no class three finals. And Big Chapo, which we missed again. Twenty four hundred meters. Missed the cutoff by two tenths of a second. Dave, I understand how you feel. All I say is I'm dollar cost averaging. Go to the next race class two sprinters featuring down down we missed down down earlier
hey, if you have your own separate bank account, manage your money as much as possible and make sure the bills are paid. Pay your bills, dollar cost average. Everybody should be happy. Give me a thumbs up in chat if you agree. All right, you don't agree with me, that's fine. It's okay, no hard feelings. Thank you, Dave, someone agrees with me. It's okay, you don't have to. That's the whole point of having a community is agreeing and disagreeing. If you're in an echo chamber, oh my goodness. You go deaf. I have a blue horse, let's play spot the blue horse. What I'd like from this game right now is to be, make money with the economy, with the stable I have and stable that I will have in the future, and then just be a better stable owner. But right now it's just dollar cost averaging. Oh, whale, let's go. What's your horse called? Congratulations, we're in the same race. Guild of Guides. That's Whale's horse. Looks like it's holding ninth. It looks like it's going to shoot up in a second. Another blue horse. We have Downtown in the top six. Blue horses for sure. We can be uh, Eiffel 65 if you remember that band. Go Google that. I'm Blue. Hit chart topping song of the early 2000s. I'm showing my age. I don't care, chat. I'm in fourth. Let's go down, down. Let's go down, down. Yes, it is a classic. Oh, Guilds of Guys is coming up. It looks like fifth down, down is eighth. I'm not going through. Did we get Guilds of Guide going through? Did he take, did we swap spots? I trumpet Guilds of Guide. Congratulations, took third. Sunspot in first. Congratulations, you guys are going to the finals. I'm in eighth. Now we're going through the marathon. Featuring Mystery Light Class 1 quarterfinals. Let's refresh this page. Congratulations to Whale going to the finals. Let's go watch the class one. It's a quarter final though. money is racing I'm gonna chat with that person lamb racing class one I know lamb Detroit green pastures I know them chat with them so I wanted to do wagering with you guys chat but they only go up to 10 slots so we can't really do that here for 12 gate. So if you have any uh, six gates or two gates, then we'll definitely do some wagering and then we'll get a bit more interactive. But uh, if I get better in F bike DNA racing, then we can definitely do some wagering because the gate system works better. So I'm trying to get a developer to make a a bot that makes it 12 gates in the coding. But uh, right now it's not worth the investment. 
I can only do up to 10, like I said. But if we can do a six gate, that's why I wanted to do the marathon or the uh, maiden race with you guys. So we could get the wagering in. So that that's what I was trying to do. How do you, uh, chat, how do you feel about wagering in Streamlabs with an interaction for the community? Sorry, sorry for being muted. We have 500 meters left. Mystery light in the top six right now. Don't know how that's happening. Dave, appreciate it. Thank you for looking out. Oh, look at that. Mystery light in the 12th gate, peaking 300 meters left. Mr. Light at podium, 150 meters left. Let's go. Everybody's making that push for the top six. Oh, it's gonna be tight. Gotta keep that podium. Keep the podium, keep the podium, keep the podium. Did we get the podium? We got the podium, chat. We got the podium. <sighs> Mystery Light played by Rod, my jockey. Just got third. Dr. Pepper time. See, I keep it Canadian. Canada dry. Oh look, it's getting green screened. Kingston Power in first, congratulations. Thank you, Sonny. Oh, look at that. That XP is beautiful. Yes, so we're moving on to the semi-finals with that horse. So we got seven minutes. Let's take a look. Cowberry. Thank you. Uh, like I, it's a strategy I'm trying out. Two races per day per horse. Try not to make it a crazy grind, but I'm fortunate to have a lot of downtime at work to catch up on my races and it's starting to pay off. 
by just getting the horses into the semifinals, let alone going into the finals. We just, it's a nice funnel. Let's say I qualify 20 horses, 15 to 20 horses, and if I can get five of them in the semifinals, I'm happy. It's 33%. Obviously, we would like more, but we all know how hard it is out here in Zed with the community and how they've been breeding and acquiring horses. So just got to play smart and play smarter the following week. So if you take this strategy, I'm probably going to find another strategy. That's that's the whole point of this game. So we have two races popping off at the same time. So do you want chat? I'm going to leave this to you. And we got some time, so maybe I'll do a quick poll. So the thing is class three. Class 3, or we're going to watch Class 6. Alright, we're going to start a poll. Let me get the command for the... So it's vote class three or class six. And if it doesn't work, I do apologize. Uh, no space, sorry. apologize okay no the the poll the, the voting is going so right now we have a class three so I'll close the voting with one minute left but right now it's uh, class three that is winning the voting system Whoever's voting class 3, it's registering. Mango voted class 6, but that's too many spaces. It won't uh, register there. Hey, sometimes it's all about classism, right? Ballot stuffing, that's hilarious. Uh, I think the votes only take one vote, so we have 80% class 3. 20% class 1. We'll be voting, closing the votes in 2 minutes. Sorry, in 1 minute. Closing the vote in 1 minute. So let's see who we have racing in class 3. Genres of humanity. I think the multiplier is working, but only in Zed, not here. Oh, no wonder why you're running 40 horses a day, whale. They're all class six. <laughs> I love class six and pacers. Oh, pacers. Great investment, right? Sarcasm, a little bit. Okay, going to close the betting in 40 seconds. Gets your bet in on this poll. Class 6 
or class three. We have five votes. Closing the poll in 30 seconds. Class three is winning. You got some killer class sixes. Okay. 10 seconds, get your vote in. All right, closing the poll. Four votes for class three. So we're watching class three, ladies and gentlemen, and they, them. I'm Canadian. We have strict pronoun laws that I can get charged for. Just to let you know. So I'm going to try to be inclusive. Watching the class three stream voted by the community. Thank you. I don't think that's how raids work. go semi-finals starting soon uh, chat what do you think should the finals be six gate and have more of them more races or just keep it 12 gate Okay, Sunny wants 12, 12 gate. Uh, Zed did a bunch of retweeting for me on Twitter. Um, I could try it next week, but... Uh... Okay, well, let's see what I can do. If I'm not chatty right now, it's because I'm posting on Discord. Done. Okay. Chat, I hope I made you happy. I spammed the Z. And... You know what? Forget about everybody else. If they hate you, they hate you. It's because you're doing something good. 900 meters left with the genres of humanity. Subs. I need, not to be greedy, but I need followers. I need to achieve those rankings from Twitch. Then we can get... Uh, Whale, sorry for that. I have high sensitivity, even though it's on low. Trying to keep it a safe space. <laughs> thank you, thank you. 500 meters left and the genres of humanity is in the bottom half. Heal the undead, shining victory, and Chapo del Capo. Well, you know these computers have no sense of humor, right? They're very linear. All right, let's get into the top six in this class three. 200 meters left, can genres pull it off in the top six? Everybody's pushing hard. 100 meters left. Come on, genres. Come on, genres. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You're almost there, you're almost there, you're almost there, you're almost there, you're almost there. Let's go, 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 go. Fourth. We're going to the finals. We have a final horse. That's going to be a long time, so we need to play some horses in between. <sighs> We're going to the finals. <sighs> See, chat? See what happens when you vote properly? We're going to the finals. 
Genres of Humanity, fourth place. Congratulations to everybody else who qualified. Oh, man. Everybody, go get a drink. That was something else. Let's go check out what class six became of. Look at that multiplier. Look at that. Oh, baby. Thank you, chat. Oh, we got two going to the finals. We <laughs> Class six. Who voted class six? Mango? Mango votes a class six and he gets it. That's hilarious. <laughs> Heron, thank you. Welcome to the stream. We got two horses going into the chat. We just did a poll of what uh, races to watch and both horses are going into the finals. Oh my gosh, all the horses are finished. So let's see what we else you have. Genres of Humanity is advancing. Let's see what we got for this mid-runner class 3. Oh, morale didn't make it. Oh my gosh. Chad, I know all of these are done, but do you want to watch the last last 250 meters? That's close. Come on. Well, it's the community that makes the stream. So thank you for tuning in. So we got two going to the finals. Let's refresh the page. Mystery light in 18 minutes. So what we can do is play some horses so chat let's have a chat I'm gonna play some Zed run in the next 18 minutes or so so we can get some horses filled I did win one sprinter under 100 congratulations Heron. oh class 3 Very nice. Hopefully everyone's doing good. How's your sit and go? mind me I'm just trying to fill some slots in giggity uh, racing some horses on my side to keep the races going oh who followed heroin thank you for the follow much appreciated welcome to the community uh, let me let me just type this in chat if you're not a part of the discord there's a link in the description follow us create a community and create a stronger community and uh, we'll do better together than alone. Oh look, I can race Chocolate Princess. gates available. Don't you hate when that happens on the first night? You can't find a damn gate. Alright, got Chocolate Princess in one race. Let me go back to the screen. Oh, 
Uh, okay, Mango, I'll check it out. Just one second. All right, everyone. What is this alpha thing? What's this play bet or the fair play site? I heard that you got a secret that you want to reveal. Can you reveal it? Fair play is part of a mutual betting site for said racers. So is it a platform where we can set up bets for 12 gates? Because that'd be really cool. See if we can get this going on together. If it's virtual, cool. If it's real, I'm not going to push for it because I don't want it. Oh, it's selected races from Zed. Well, Heron, I'd love to learn more about this fair play. Seems interesting. If it if it's betting that's different from Streamlabs, then that's cool. So we have a class one from 2400 meters. Chocolate Princess. This is for next week's. This is just a uh, regular race, y'all. All right. I heard about that on Arbitrage's stream that you might be holding back on the the reveal. is a good horse to reveal that in. Very interesting. Well, Heroin, congratulations. When you get that going, let us know. We'll definitely get the word out. We'd love to see that horse, that skin, out on the market, on the races. Who knows, maybe they'll save it for next year's uh, Halloween event. It'd be a tease, but... Yeah, I can definitely check out Phantom Pacer. And then we'll do it after the race, okay? We'll check out its stats together. I'm just loading up the stats right now, so please excuse me, you have a thousand meters left in the race. Chocolate Princess is in last with flames. It's beautiful, 900 meters left. Okay, so what I see from Phantom Pacer is a uh, mid marathon. Its mid is 99 speed, 12 var, and almost 80 power. So it looks like a very strong mid. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. Lightly raced. I, I didn't go through all of the stats, but damn. 4,000 races is light. Maybe for you, OGs. Oh for me, that's, uh, oh my god, that's too many races. I 
All right, 400 meters left. Chocolate Princess is in second. That's where we like it. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. We're approaching two hours on the stream, about 90 minutes active. Chocolate Pacer, sorry, Chocolate Princess. Jeez, Pacer. Uh, is pushing for the first place. That's what I want for my chocolate first. Number one. Jeez. All right, we'll watch this replay. Thank you, Mango. We'll check this replay, then we'll go over to the stats if we have enough time, and then we'll go from there. Thank you, Sunny. Remember, this is for next week's races, so we got some points in. It's just really sad when one of your top horses gets knocked out in the first rounds of uh, the finals. Okay. Chocolate Princess, flame first. That's how it'll be like. Let's go to the tournament. We got nine minutes. So let's go get uh, the stats of Phantom Pacer. Right, chat? Phantom Pacer. So is this what's going to be revealed? Sorry, Chad, I'm just going to put another horse in a race. Dave, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week or we'll talk in Discord. Oh, wrong horse. Damn. That's embarrassing. What was the horse's name again? Hero? Mmm, there's two of them. See, that's what I think I clicked last time. Uh, I might have to go on to Z lead and find out the proper pacer, phantom pacer. Everybody say goodnight to, uh, to Dave. Good night, Dave. I think I found it. Yeah. Holy shit. Look at that left lean. So that's what's going to get the skin. Six minutes to the race. horse what is it again it's a G genesis nakamoto mid runner hero how much for the breed or do you allow breeding on this horse wow all right we got a race starting Exclusively in-house. 
So you're telling me I have to use my bonus on you, right? It's all good. It's all good. Quite the blood in this race. This is another free race for the next week. And then we'll go over to the next race that should be ready for us. Well, congratulations for you to have that eye very early on in the game to be one of the best stables out there. GG's. Quite the blood in the top six. Ghost scope, power ball, and quite the blood in the podium. 700 meters left in a 1200 meter race. I had nachos today and I don't feel sick. Maybe it's because I rushed onto the stream today. Hmm. Quite the blood is sitting at 10th with 400 meters left. Needs to pull ass now. We have 200 meters left. Quite the blood is in 11th, pushing hard in the final 100 meters. see what she can do oof that's an ugly race all right congratulations to the winner of this race it's gonna be a long week for me hydro cannon congrats Class one, marathoners four, mystery light, and then in 30 minutes we have a finals of cacao berry, not flaming. That could be a good sign of a win. Checking the phone. So there's this place up in Aurelia today that I went to called Mariposa Market. It's like a farmer's market, a retail coffee shop, and they have these Texas sized donuts. And if you're on my Instagram, uh, you could see the Texas sized donut. And honestly, it's like the size of my hand. Oh, where's the camera? The size of my hand, the donut. If I can find a picture, I'll get it for you. So that's my hand. That's the donut. This thing had to be 30 bites to finish and I'm only halfway and it's really good. And that's called the Homer Texas donut best two two dollars and fifty cents i spent jumper is that from universal studios no that's not from universal studios but it is called the homer and it tasted like strawberries mm, donut ha oh. ha yo whales shout out to uh the cinnamon donut yeah 
fine quality Texas donuts in small towns. You'll like it. All right, we got this race going on. Intimacy. Pantless. La Combe de Voix. Kingston Power. Oh, we saw that horse earlier. Busting barn doors. I used to work there. They had a whole stand selling those in the Simpsons land. So, okay, Jumper. So, how was it working over there? I want a nice, tasty coffee. Not too much sugar, not too bold, and not too creamy. It's very hard to get that from a nice chain without breaking the bank. But I had a mocha today. Oh, well. Congrats to you for being one of the... Uh, few people getting out of uh, California. Is this the new Matrix? Chat, when did, when did this... When did the Matrix come in? Refreshing the race. Thanks, Jumper. <gasps> the Matrix broke us. Now we have to find Mystery Light sitting in ninth. We have nothing to say, Pantless and King's Power in the podium. Heroin has a C4 stud in, uh, with a nice VAR. Spire Motorsports is the horse's name. We're going to have some time in between, so maybe we'll look up that horse. If that's okay with you, Hero. How much is uh, the cover? Or the coat? Is the race broken or it's just the horses? Could be my computer crapping out. Yeah, it did crap out. Sorry, chat. Looks like I'm not going to have a horse going into the next round, but we did get some points. No stable XP. Oh, that's unfortunate. You know what, it's probably because I have too many windows open. Hero, my thing has a high sensitivity, so if you want to use any words, just put it like a, a character beside it. Here's Spire Motorsports that's in stud right now, 18% win rate. Wins over an ETH. Profits 4.24. Jeez. Hero, I might be talking to you uh, about breeding soon. See what we can do. Oh, we got a race coming for my jockey to fill in the void. Is 
This is a 1600 meter. What? Sprinters. It's not sprinter stakes if it's 1600 meters. All right, hero. Um, if you're on Discord, can you send me a message? Please and thank you. And then we'll chat later. So we have powerful full machine in the second. All right, we got a nice community going on. We got some breeds going, got some pulls going in today. Stretching that shoulder, that's all I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen. Gets better and better each week. the replay sorry about that chat i was trying to add the hero did we get powerful full machine captain frosty no i didn't get anything oh but i got last place Place and 16 stable points. It's a beautiful thing. I thought I had two horses going into the finals. Chat, was it only top three that went to the finals? I'm only seeing one. Yeah, I know I qualified, but it's crazy that that race is not scheduled yet. All right, let's go into simulation mode. Let's see what the Z-SIM says about this. This is what it looks like. Tinder me, call her lucky for the finals. No, Sizzle never made it. Um, it was a different horse that made it. I forget who it was. It was another mid runner. We watched class three. I think we watched it. It was genres of humanity. Yeah, I thought I had two as well. Let's go to results, see what we found.
seventh, okay. Cacao berry, yeah, we were watching that. And then it should be this one. Genres of humanity, we've watched the semifinals, but did we just watch the finals of it? <sighs> it's very confusing, chat. And then I gotta find that maiden. Yeah, I should have two, two going in the finals. Oh, here's my maidens. Sixth place, didn't win anything. So what's the point of being first overall and then coming in last? That was my maiden night, y'all. Very frustrating. I think genres of humanity is populating. Still not populating. Anyways, I'm gonna go put another horse in a race. Give me a second while I can put that horse in a race. Put a different horse in. I'm gonna put Pumpkin Insanity in a 1600 meter class two race. Wait for that to fill. We'll put Chocolate Princess in a class one, 2600 meter race. Smaller message, my friend. Smaller messages. It's okay. Sensitivity is too high. We want to keep chat nice and flowing. Ten minutes till the final race. Oh, I definitely see buggy code. And it's in the matrix for sure. Well, good luck to Whale getting those stud covers. We got about a minute and 40 seconds to the next race. Thank you everybody for tuning in again, spending your Sunday nights with me. I'm going to go straight to bed after this because I got work in the morning. Jumper, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Nine minutes to the finals. Hero, I sent you a message on Discord, but the Clyde bot blo blocked it. So I added you as a friend and hopefully, uh... Ha, Mango, you're funny. Sleep when you're dead. I used to say that till I burnt out. I did six days a week at work 
And then I used to stream once a month at a live venue doing Pokemon Go tournaments. And then I tried to do more because you get caught up in the algorithm because that's that community they get caught up and stuff. And it was just a burnout, man. It made me hate streaming. It made me hate setting up and doing events. It, it was really bad. But get your sleep in, get your rest in. I work a physical job, so my body needs to rest, but I had a nap. Yeah, I know Taco from streaming. We were supposed to do an event together, but uh, the co event coordinators played politics first and then Pokemon later. Sunny, hey man, that's what we try to do. We try to get everybody sharing their information, having a good time, become a better racer. And then hopefully one day you can outstream me. I'm trying to talk to Zed. Uh, try to get some custom races, do some things with conditionals with and different metas and just make a fun stream like I'm gonna have a lot of downtime and if we don't utilize this relationship together, then I don't know where it'll go. But I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this to show you and I hope you gain value from this and when I see someone follow, hopefully that value has a good exchange so i appreciate everybody from all right i'm gonna fix my bot sorry chat uh here i'll try the link again i just uh changed it changed the, uh, the permission. Five hundred meters left, and well, don't call it a donkey. I have donkeys. You have champs. Your donkey is like my best horse. Excuse me. 200 meters left and pumpkin sanity is nowhere to be found 700 horses jeez and i'm sure they're all bred well and i wouldn't have it any other way if you were a uh paid racer pumpkin sanity goes fourth so i got some points out of that race sunny veils you got to use it uh the Z run tool, learn about stability, learn about VAR, and become a better racer. That's my tip for you. Because right now I'm in that part of trying to be a better breeder. Still no second race, so it must have been a top three. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if this are going to be the final 10 minutes of us spending together, I do appreciate you tuning in. <sighs> Has been a very interesting day of races. Uh, take my advice, take others' advice, take it with a grain of salt, apply it to your strategies, and just want to see you a better racer. See you in qualifying for tournaments, qualifying for sit and goes, hit, making it to the finals. Because we all know by watching tonight, it wasn't easy. Some of these horses I have, they they qualified for points, but can't, they qualified for finals. And as it shows, it, a class six horse, my soul class six horse, is in the finals, and we're going to be watching that in four minutes. And it's funny that, that this mix is going to finish when the stream finishes, so should be good.
I put a second horse in. I wonder if uh, how it finished. Chocolate Princess. Did we watch that? Oh no, Powerful Full Machine. Yeah, that was a tournament race. Then we watched Pumpkin Insanity. That finished fourth. Finals are done. Hmm, I thought I had another race for you. Three minutes. All right, chat. Sunny, yeah, I have uh, horses in all classes, and. Before Haku shut down, rest in peace again. I'll pour one for my homies. Um, I used to use that filtering system so much where I'd buy horses that were in my price range with the preferences that I liked. And I'd try to hit sprinters, mid runners, and marathon horses and try to build my stable from there because my breeding wasn't so good. So I had to change something. And yeah it, right now i feel like i have a stable that can compete right now and uh yeah it just uh that's how i played the game by acquiring better horses and then i gotta either breed better horses or i gotta ask stables to bring me in-house and then I buy from them for a premium and that's where it's going so any of these names that are big names to you um, I'd say chat chat with the big names see if they can sell you an in-horse in-house horse and then go from there uh, the final race is starting in 90 seconds so I'm not going to be checking but after the stream, we can definitely check out uh, Bonus Slice, Harrow. We have one minute left in the finals. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. It's been about two hours and 30 minutes. Thank you for spending your wonderful time with me, with the community, and with Zed. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for communicating in chat. Let's have a beautiful race. All we need is a top three. Get that XP. Uh, Genesis can be costly. Uh, I'm sure you could find a good horse to breed with all around. You just got to make sure that it's in your preference. And when I say preference, let's say we're going through a filter system of paid win rates, regular win rates, flame. All right, well, have a good night. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you got a few more minutes to spare to watch this race. It is an 1800 meter free weekly premiere class six final. Yeah, Haku was great for finding value horses especially a Genesis. Refreshing the race. Oh, well, that'd be cool. Kyle Berry is sitting in 8th. 1600 meters to go. Narwhal in 1st. Well, so far it's in 1st, so you, you flamed. That's why I'm happy by not flaming. Oh, 
Oh, chat. Look at that. Full rebates for the community if you go with the Gen 1 with stability. Very beautiful. Thank you. Flames are very misleading. But they are a good stat to hold when you're trying to sell Cacao Berry in 8th. Cacao Berry now in 7th, 1,000 meters left. I used to run that horse when I didn't know anything about Zed in 1,000 meters, but then found its potential within 1,600 meters. So having this horse racing right now in the top six in the finals at 1,800 meters is interesting to see. Cacao Berry touched the podium, but now it's fallen back to 7th, it's now 6th, now 9th, with 500 meters, sorry, 600 meters left. Now watch me whip, Thunder Me and Roseanne Park are in the podium. Cacao Berry now in 10th, with 400 meters left in the race. Can we get a final push? From Cacao Berry, 300 meters left, closing the distance. Everyone's closing the distance, y'all. And Narwhal is in 11th, so not doing well there. Sorry, bud. Cacao Berry is uh, making a final push. Let's go, Cacao Berry. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 100 meters, 100 meters. Fifth place. Let's go. Third place. Third place. First. 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 Champion. First. Champion. First. Let's fucking go. <sighs> you have your champion, ladies and gentlemen, and they, them. Cacao Berry. By three hundredths of a fucking second. Let's go, chat. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Look at that. Second and thirst by the community. Whale, congratulations to you with the final push. <sighs> Chat, thank you for tuning in. First place, I can finally get out of class six. GG's, good night. If you're going to bed right now, uh, follow me on different socials, Andrew, Andy Ace, 88, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, YouTube. I'll stay in class six. Oh boy. That was fun. That was really fun. We'll look at that push at the end. We have a champion. We have a champion. Champion breed. Yeah, aging should reset when you class. That would be a nice feature. But I'd love to say in chat, it is my time to go to bed. I don't think we'll have another race tonight because we don't know what's happening with genres of humanity. That was some BS there. Yeah, there's no other race scheduled, so I think you needed top three to qualify for the finals. Um, thank you, chat. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We'll see you soon. Good night. And let's talk over Discord. Uh, join the Discord if you haven't done so. Send you a link. And yeah, C6 for the win, Mango. C6 for the wing. Thank you. Good night.